I'm here at Restore TV because I have a picture of my great-grandfather and great-grandmother and their family and it's the only picture we have and it's in very bad condition. Good. How was, can I help you? Well, I was wondering if you could help me restore a picture. Okay. Yeah, that's what we do here. Okay. Restore a picture. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a picture of my great-grandmother's family. Okay. So I was just, it's in pretty bad shape. It's very yeah. faded. But is this a copy, right? This copy is a copy of the picture. Yes. Okay. I think there's a copy of a copy. I have another copy here of it, but okay. it's darker, so. Yeah, I think it's better work with this one because it's more details. Great. But yeah, we can enhance the colors and clean all those cracks. I think it's going to look good. Great. And what I'm other excited. pictures you have in there? Well, I have some pictures of the, since they are kind of blurry, mm -hmm. I just thought maybe it might help to have a more clear picture of some of the people that are in the picture. Yes. I don't know if that will help Is this not. your great-grandmother? This is my great-grandmother. Yes, Martha. Okay. And this is her kids? Yes, that's her children. Okay, yeah. yeah. So leave this with us for reference, and yeah, Great. we can do it. Great, I'm excited. All right, let's do it. My name is Laura Chandia, and I'm from Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Um, I grew up in, in Lake George, New York, but I'm now living in Elk Ridge, Utah. I married Alfredo Ivan Chandia Borges, and we have seven children. Um, Benjamin, Nicholas, Emily, Elizabeth, Samuel, Jacob, and Kylie. This picture is my great-grandmother and great-grandfather and their family, including my grandmother. The man in the picture, his name is Albert Eli Hembry, and his wife is Martha Jane Williams. The, from left to right, is Mabel Marie um, Hembry, or Jordan, and her sister Pearl. They were from a different marriage. Um, their last name is Jordan. And then there's Daisy Hembry, and the little boy is Andrew Jackson. The little baby in Martha's arms, her name is Dorothy. And the little girl sitting in front of her mother is my grandmother, Ethel May Hembry. Martha and Albert were arguing. They had this, this argument had been going on for some time where Albert wanted to move from St. Louis to find employment elsewhere. And Martha didn't want to move. One night, um, he came home and he was drinking and then the argument came up again. They lived in a small, I think a two room place, house or apartment, something. And um, she was laying, they would lay on pallets, that was their beds. And they'd pull them up during the day and during the night they would pull down the pallets and, and sleep, that was their beds. Well, I know as far as I've been told by um, my Aunt Mabel, my great Aunt Mabel, her and Pearl were in the other room and the other children were around, but she was laying down, Martha was laying down on the pallets nursing the baby. When um, Albert came in, he grabbed his pistol and he shot Martha twice, once in the cheek, which went to her brain and once in the abdomen. He picked up his shoes and he ran. They summoned the police and they apprehended him soon thereafter. The reason why I want to restore this picture is because it's one of the only pictures that, it is the only picture of this whole family together. Um, it's the only picture of Albert, my great grandfather. I want to take this picture and have it restored and give it to my mother. I want to give it to my aunts and I want to give it to um, 
Mabel's daughter, who I'm, I know and keep in contact with. And even though tragedy happens, it's, it's a learning experience and, and um, can help future generations. We are working today in Laura's picture and Laura's picture is a very old picture that is really faded and you can hardly see in the picture. So I think what we need to do first is adjust all the colors and brightness and contrast to see what we can see and then we can start restoring this picture. Okay, a little more brightness or less brightness, more contrast, and we need to go just to a point that we can see enough and without erasing any faces. Okay, for now it's okay there. When was the round stone barn? of Pittsfield, Massachusetts built. A, 1826, B, 1836, C, 1856. At the end, we can do more contrast adjustment. So now what we need to do is clean all these scratches. Looks like this picture was having a glass and the glass broke, so all these scratches are from the glass. And the answer is A, 1826. It's the only circular barn ever built by the Shakers, a religious group. Okay, finally, Laura's picture is ready. So we are ready to show it to her. I hope she really liked her picture. Okay, is that reveal time for Laura's picture? Laura, are you ready to see your picture? Mm, yes, I am. Okay. So let's see your previous picture first. It's the right. Picture of a family. It looks very light. Yeah, and Faded. lots of crackles. Yes, Laura cracks. And okay. this is your new picture. Oh, look at that. That's great. You can see his face a little bit more yeah. in her face. Yeah, that's for sure. And the little girl. Oh, uh, yep, that's my grandmother. That's your grandmother. Yeah. Good. That's great. Thank okay. you so Thank much. You. That's wonderful. Wow. Thank you for that's... bringing your photo to Restore TV. Well, thank you for restoring my photo. <laughs> My new picture, the restored picture, is so much more clear and detailed than the older one. The first one had a lot of crackles in it and it was kind of faded. You couldn't really see the faces very much. And especially of my great grandfather. And now you can see some depth and this is the only picture that anybody has of him. So, um, but especially it's, it's really nice to see the whole family together and um, to see more detail. It's great. So thank you so much, Restore TV. Hello. 
This is Sonia from Restore.tv. Thank you for watching this story of restoration. If you really like it and enjoy it, please give us a click in the like button down below. And if you have a photo that you would like for us to restore, please go to www.restore.tv and find the closest store next to you. And we would like to restore that picture for you. Thanks for watching.